I have just opened this box. Uh, I've been expecting this for a while and I'm super excited to see a new 3D printed gizmo has been delivered. This is in some sense a prototype for a, um, for a project that is in the works. And uh, given the cost of printing uh, metal, uh, this is stainless steel at this scale, I've, I've decided to wait until this arrived before moving into phase two. Um, but I haven't really even had a close look at these things yet. Uh, let's have a look. So, oh yeah. What do we have here? This, my friends, was a Tesla turbine, the world's worst turbine, but also the easiest to make on a lathe. Not that this is a lathe. There's one of the housings with an intake. And um, various air bleed ports there. And this should be an identical piece here. So now the only question is, will this all fit together? So under here is my bearings. Yowzers. Yeah, the world's tiniest bearings. So I can do this one handed. Oh yes. Look at the size of these things. Where's the camera? All right, let's try and put this on a hand and focus it. Oh, come on. Well, it's a bearing, you've seen one before. <coughs> All right, so in theory, these should fit onto the ends here. And uh, oh boy, it's meant to be an interference fit, so I might have to strategically heat and cool some various components to make them stick together. Luckily, my table has holes in it, mm, doesn't seem to want to go on. It looks fairly coaxial, so it should fit together. Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, so it took about an hour of um, basically turning the, the rotor over with a, uh, a drill and my trusty multi-tool uh, vise. So it's, um, uh, sorry, file. Let's file that under poor advice. Uh, and a little bit of tweaking um, the housing uh, just to kind of make up for some of the post uh, printing deformation to uh, make everything fit. But now it all fits. So, so I'll just take this thing, drop it in there. Yep, it doesn't turn perfectly unencumbered yet, but it'll just require a little bit of extra work to get that done when the drops into position. And it's all closed up uh, with two air ports, one of which is blocked at a time. I haven't bolted it together yet. So next up, get a clear, clean rotation. After a fair bit more brute force and violence, I'm now able to spool it up. Well, it's outside the second housing. fully assembled and I'm going to make it go around a little bit if I can get the aim right here. Okay, this is harder than it looks. All right. It's not perfect but it works well enough now. Give it some herbs. Sure that wasn't important. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> 